Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hynek, physical, <laughs> physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right, today we're going to talk about science says these balance exercises clearly reduce falls and fear of falling. So we're actually going back to the journals now of, right. of medicine and, and trying to figure these things out. Well, you know, we've done these before, but it's like, hey, let's find out what this what the literature says uh, with the studies so that's why we're here we're going to show you six exercises that are definitely going to improve your balance and fear of falling according to this study but before we go further bob if you are new to our channel please take a second to subscribe to us we provide videos on stay healthy fit pain free and we upload every day also go to facebook and like us we're nearing fifty thousand, brad oh really yeah so Bob and Brad, you gotta like us. If you like us, we're gonna send some positive vibes your way. It's like it's like having money in your pocket. There you go. It is. It's like a positive investment. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. So well, this is the. Uh, can I say it, Brad? Yep. It was the International Journal of Gerontology. 2014. They Gerontology did Gerontology study of the old. Right. Elderly, elderly seniors. Uh, they did a study with 104 people between ages of 60 and 94. 52 in the test group, 52 in the control, control group. group. They didn't do Thank anything. You, they tested them with a functional reach test and a tug test, which if you're a physical therapist, you're familiar with these tests. They're very, they're reliable tests to determine your fall risk. Right. Okay. Uh, so from that study, they determined it was clear that if you do these exercises, there's six of them, 20 reps daily, I believe it was for eight weeks they, they did the study before and after, you're going to improve. And They're well, really not that hard. No, and I mean, actually they are exercises that we, we have been we've promoting. We've been promoting for years. There you go. So we knew what we were doing, we there just didn't go. realize yeah. it. Pat on the back. Yeah, there we go, thank you. <laughs> okay, so the first exercise, very simple one. This is yeah. one typically you're going to you go up to a cupboard, grab a chair, and I'll show it from this direction. So you're holding for balance. And so you can gonna hang on to a cupboard or a chair, basically. Right. Saying, right. Yeah, what did I say? You say go up to a cupboard and grab and a chair. And a chair, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. It's a little, I'm a little nervous today. Okay. Out to the side, and you're going to do 20 of these. And you and may start at 10 what repetitions. what he's doing. He's bringing his toe straight forward. He's not going out like this. Yep, that is not what we want. We want this. Yep. A lot of your balance comes from your hips. So you want to make sure your hips are nice and strong uh, so they, that you're less likely to fall. Right. Need to have that core strength there. Yeah. And then the other one is straight behind, not knee bending, and not this, yeah, but not, good tall posture dipping. and just hip extension. So you're working those glutes. This one was working the abdo the, uh, <laughs> minimus. Hip abduction. <laughs> minimus and medius. You're right. So... I'm telling you, I'm really off today. No, oh, you'll, you'll get it back. I know, you'll get it back. I know, it's just a bad day, but I'm working through What was that toy it. that used to dip down like this and go into the water, a little duck thing or duck? That, you're bird. going way back. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of a fun one. Now All the right. next one is marching. It's a simple one. Still working on hip groups, still uh, strengthening the hip flexors now. Right. And... Uh, so we're kind of going around the entire bend as far as the hips right. are concerned. We're getting all directions. And this is a little more dynamic, more like walking, right leg, left leg, as opposed to the other one where you work one leg for 20 reps. And you can be watching Wheel of Fortune while this is going on, there right? You go. We got a rule at our house. If you're just going to watch entertainment, with, except for Friday nights, you should be exercising. So yeah. get on the machine while you're exercising. Wow, you got a tough household there. Well, we don't always stick to it, but we like to think about it. <laughs> Anyways, right, next the next one. one. Now, this one you're going to have to be careful with. Yeah, you do. We don't want any falls you know, in doing the exercise. Right. So if you have a cane or a balance stick or we something to hold on stick. to. Yep, we're going to use our booyah. You're going to step over a bench. Now, you're going to start out with a pretty low bench. You know, as a matter of fact, if, if you had problems, you could start stepping over a two by four. Sure. Doesn't gotcha. matter uh, as long as it's challenging to you, but we want to be safe. So this is a pretty tall bench. You may not start or probably won't start this tall unless you're pretty. I would call that a stool. Stool. Yeah. <laughs> One way or another, we're going over an object sure. like this. And that, and you can see how this. Yeah, you're really working your balance in multi directions. Right. I mean, precisely. I, I really do think you'd want to have something to hold on oh, to. Oh, right. As a matter of fact, maybe hold on to a countertop and right. go over or something. But sure, you may want to have something like a cane or the the booyah stick here and a countertop here and start out like that. Yeah. 
Um, and it's nice to have someone who's strong and healthy standing right by you for this one. As a matter of fact, if you're by yourself, I would skip this one if you're concerned about right, it. Right, I Just would tell them. put this one behind you. Don't worry. And the other ones are going to get you better. If you're with your spouse, you can have your spouse lay down, and you can step over your spouse. <laughs> Why, Bob? Why? I don't know. It might be fun. <laughs> okay. Now, the next one is we call closed chain squat. Simple quad, quad strengthening. Right. This is yeah. simple uh, technical therapy word for squats. Yeah. Weight-bearing squats. Yeah. So... A good solid heavy chair, grab behind, or you can do it on the countertop, uh, on the countertop too, and just good posture, shoulders back, and squat. The biggest mistake when I work with patients is they'll start doing yeah. this, yeah. And, and that's not what we're looking for. We want bending the knees. You're trying to keep your back straight, really, right? And, and like you're almost in a cast. Sure. You're bending down like this. Very good. So. Do you use that with your patients? I do. Yeah. I do. We have a little tricks that we work with our yeah, patients. Yeah, we have a little phrase, phraseology that we use. Big rule here is don't go down too far. Yeah, you don't need to. If you get down too far, you might end up falling backwards. Yeah. So start out shallow, shallow. Shallow squats. And get a feel for your body. It's still going to work your balance. And yeah. then watch my feet. We don't want to go like this on our toes. Keep your feet flat on the ground and work them like yeah, this. Kind of bringing your butt back. You're right. Sticking your butt out. Yep. So again, start out shallow. Don't worry about getting down deep. That's not necessary. Be easier on your knees too if you don't go there too deep. There you go. Yeah. It really will be. Okay. What number are we on? That We're was number, on number four. Five now, yep. which is one we've always said too. Is um, uh, we, you can do it in a chair. I'm going to use this chair. Um, you can also do it off a bed if you're just starting off. Yep. Why don't yeah. you show the chair first, Brad, and I'll show the bed. This one is going to be difficult for some seniors, yeah. um, and you may not be able to do it, so then you're going to go to a higher level, is arms crossed and stand up from here and go down. Now, you know, I haven't done this before. 20 of them is going to be a – Yeah. I would just worry about doing a few. Right. It, you may have to start pushing off the armrest, which is fine. Yeah. And then as you get stronger, go up to folding the arms. But the folding of the arm is definitely going to challenge your balance and your strength. So it makes sense. So start with pushing off of the armrest. Or, Bob, you want to show on a, a higher well, surface? Yeah, you can go off a bed, especially if your bed's a little bit higher. And, and then, you know, again, you can use your arms to help push up. Um, the other thing is, you, you know, as you sit down, the bed it might give you a little spring and make your back go back up There again. you go. But yep. uh, to take it even further, you might go off the edge like this, the corner like this, and now it's easier to lean forward. Right and get up like this and, and go ahead and do some uh, squats like that. Sit now, the stands. If you're doing these by yourself and you happen to have a walker, put the walker in front of you. It gives you something to hold on to. So always using good judgment so that you stay safe. Nice thing about that one is that generally if you lose your balance, you just sit right back in the right, chair. Right, right, yeah, generally. yep. So. so that's a pretty good uh, way to keep safe as well. Now, we've Last got one. some lines here on the floor, but they're getting old, but it'll be all right. Right. We want to do the, the classic heel to toe balance. So the way this will work, you're going to want to hold on to something. a got a cupboard here using the cane or the, the boya stick or whatever you have that's solid that doesn't slip on the floor. You want to have, have it sticky. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're going to put the heel, you know, in theory, you want the heel to touch the toe. Just like you're walking, I always say, you know, just like you're walking on a tightrope, or, you know, in, in Wisconsin, it's like you're getting the DWI test. Why would you know about that, Brad? Well, I live in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the trademark, uh, but it's really not true. Okay, so, or if you have a line. Now, I do this with some people, and I, I have a line on the floor, so they have a visual, and they try to keep that. And this is, this can be really challenging for many, pe many seniors. So you may, again, with this one, have someone stand next to you and start with a handhold. Or if you well, don't definitely feel... Definitely go on that countertop. Yeah, it, not one hand on the countertop. Right. And if you don't feel safe with this by yourself, you simply don't do yeah, it. Do the ones that you feel safe with, and you can always progress to the more difficult ones. Right, I mean, wait for as, someone as to come help you, uh, whatever it takes. So um, once again, Bob, I think this is just another piece of the puzzle of keeping our people safe. And it's a little bit out of the realm, but it's close enough. We can fix anything except for a broken heart. There you go. But we are working on yeah, it. That's right. Thanks.